Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the New England Sports Center. It is Saturday, February 3rd, and you are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. And tonight, the 11-2-1 Hillers meet up with 11-3-1 Holliston. And Eric, this is a game that could very well determine who finishes at the top of the TVL. Yeah, this is big, Tom. What a way to start this big sports weekend with another uh, town line tilt to determine uh, who's going to be at the top of the TVL standings. I think Paulson took everybody by surprise early on, but that surprise is out of the bag. They're a real good team, and Hopkins is going to have to play their best to beat them. Yep, uh, Holliston has shown that they are for real. When they first started off the season, racking up a couple of wins, you thought, well, maybe, it, maybe they're going to fall off at some point, but they haven't fallen off at all and they are very much in the race to grab the TVL title as we get you ready for this crucial game for the Hopkinton Hillers. The Hillers just getting off a 5-1 to one win against Norton on the road, and right now we'll send it down to ice side for the starting lineups and the national anthem. All right, and first let's meet the visiting Halloween Halston Panthers starting lineup. Starting at center. Number 11, Cooper De Cristofano. Starting at left wing, number 10, Sam Fowler. Starting on right wing, number 19, Cam De Cristofano. Starting on right defense, number 6, Tim Ridgey. Also on defense, on the left defense, number three, Jack Wilkie. In the door for the Panthers, number 29, Nico Kotomani. The coach is Dan Geary. And now he's starting right up for the home team, Hot Ken Hillers. Starting at center, number 17, DJ Sloan. Starting at left wing, number 15, Steve Sloan. Starting at right wing, number two, Will Abbott. Starting on defense number six, Andrew Gilbert. Also on defense number three, Matt Wickers. And of course, number 31, Dylan O'Leary. And of course, the other thing is Chris McPherson. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask you to please rise and honor our nation by playing the National Anthem. about ready for the opening face-off between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Holliston Panthers. A crucial TVL matchup. Let's take a look at the standings as they are right now. Medway is at 11-5-0. Ashland at 6-7-2. Medfield at 10-2-2. Norton at 4-8-2. Hopkinton 11-2-1. Bellingham 0-13-3. Holliston 11-3-1. Dover Sherborne 6 7 and 2 Westwood 9 4 and 2 and Dedham 3 13 and 1 
And the opening faceoff is about to go down. DJ Sloan in the center circle up against Cooper D. Cristoforo. And Holliston starts off with control. Working right to left across your screen. Tom Nappy, Eric Carty on the call. Tom Dings, our cameraman for this evening as we get an early whistle. Looks like the net came out. I think it's imperative here, Tom, that the Hill has come out with a fast start. Uh, they had it taken to them early in the first period by Medfield a couple games ago, and then they playing catch up after that. Of course, that game against Medfield was the broken glass game. <laughs> and Eric, looking at that video, the glass breaking, it, it's very strange because no one was even near the window that broke. Yeah, they were there about a minute before. I don't know if it was an after effect or just coincidence, but there was no one there when it did break. And there's a shot by Simos that's deflected out of play. That one off the glove of goaltender Will Bridges. How about Simo showing off the power there? He's got a great shot, too. He gets that thing on net. Can also hit a baseball pretty hard as well. Yeah, he's a good, well-rounded athlete. A lot of these kids are. They all play multiple sports. They're all good in all of them. We'll certainly be following Steven Simos throughout the baseball season as well as he takes it up the near side. Now into the corner, it's Jack Larsh for Holliston. Panthers also with a lot of multi-sport athletes on their roster. A lot of familiar names from Ashland Legion Baseball and the football team. As Andrew Gilbert collects. Taken back by Larsh. Lindquist and Franco doing battle. Here comes Abbott. Abbott up to 32 points on the season, and he was trying to get Sloan a goal there. Abbott collected three more points in that game against Norton last Wednesday night. 5-1 win for the Hillers. Norton a pretty good team this year as well. Another impressive victory by Hopkinton. I'm sure they were frustrated from their game against Medfield last Saturday. Yeah, that feels real tough on the game we watch there. They've got just a well-rounded team. They play everybody tough. And that's one thing a lot of the tough teams started to do, stock that schedule with tough opponents, get that experience for the postseason. Sam Farrell around the net for Holliston. Now coming up the near side, it is Tommy Hamblett. That one deflected into the corner. Temple picks it up. Trying to leave it out in front. Farrell coming down for Holliston. Hamblett met up with Cooper D. Cristoforo. Hamblett with the shot there. And the secondary attempt is going to be a goal. Sean Walsh. How about that? Less than two minutes in. And Tommy Hamblett making a nice steal off the boards. And Sean Walsh going right to the front of the net. Like he was supposed to be. And that was great placement, as you mentioned, Eric, by the Hillers. It's like Walsh just read that perfectly. Yeah, he looked up and saw nobody in front of him, and he had a perfect beeline right to the net for that. And that is the way you want to start things off if you're Hopkinton. Jammed up along the far side boards. A couple players from both teams in on the action. Near side, Jack Wilkie, the left defenseman. There's a shot off a defender by Jack J. Cober. Hillers will switch up their line. The Hillers back to their uh, normal four check on this one. I think they're a lot more effective when they have those two guys in and that third guy kind of floating around in the middle, not all the way back to the blue line. Cutting the Panthers off from getting that good breakout. Turning it right back over to offense. Left out in front. Gilbert gets rid of it. Up along the near side is Abbott. Leaves that one for Sloan. Here comes Sloan. Two on one here. Sloan. Trying to leave it in the slot. Simos puts that around the net and now trying to jam it in on the 
corner there. Good stop by Bridges. Nice play by Simos. Yeah, trying to reverse the flow. Both of his guys were on the other side of the net, and as he was going behind it, he kind of threw it back out. For Sean Walsh, that's his fifth goal of the season, his 11th point. And for Tommy Hamblett, that's actually his first assist of the season. And that is his fifth point. Tim Ringy puts it around the net. On the near side, that's Wilkie. Into the Hiller zone, get a whistle. Well, Hopkins to put the pressure on, Eric. Yeah, that makes that just a huge difference. When you're able to get that four check going and get that pressure on them, it just forces them to make mistakes like that. They're either going to have to ice it or they're going to hit a shin pad coming out. Or the Hill is playing all the right lanes. Sean Walsh into the faceoff circle for Hopkins. In a high slot. Saparoshitz. Pass over to Connor Delaney. Trying to put that one through. That nearly got through the goaltender's pads there. Good screen in front. Tim Ringy takes it around. Alston trying to establish some momentum as Wilkie works his way up. Now into the corner goes Balowitz for Halston up against Saparoshitz. Saparoshitz puts it around the net. Over towards Hamblet. Hamblet off the glass in the Halston territory. Ringy picks it up. Ringy up the far side. Looking for the shot there. Hiller's not letting it happen. As Hunter Temple meets up with Heffernan. Picked up by Lindquist. That's back to Cobra. Cobra leaves it out in front. The far side, that's Temple. Over to Walsh. Walsh. That one off of Bridges. Picking it up, coming off the bench is Rogers. Taken back by Cobra. Approaching 10 minutes left in the first period. A 1 0 Hillers lead. A goal within the first two minutes at 13.06 left by Sean Walsh. Next to an assist from Tommy Hamblett. Connor Delaney. Delaney skate back with that one. Miller's going to switch up a couple players on the ice. Sloan back into the game. As well as Abbott. Sloan pokes that over to Abbott. Abbott showing off the stick work. Shot. That's off the goal pad. Still out in front. And Bridges will cover it up. Well, Hill is showing, Tom, that they, uh, they knew what they had to do against Hollison. And that is just pressure, pressure, pressure. And so far, they've been keeping up that part of the uh, game plan. They certainly have. That's what, like, that's what the Hillers like to do, just overwhelm teams. Yeah, you want to make them make the mistakes. Just play good, solid defense. Make sure you're covering your man and wait for that turnover. Hopkins had put up 56 shots in their win against Norton on Wednesday. That is the second most of the season. And the most was the first game of the season, the tie against Westwood. They put up 59 shots, but the result of the game was a 1-1 tie. And Westwood. Westwood goaltender definitely won, uh, uh, got that tie for them. Oh, he certainly did. Along the far side. O'Leary sets that one up. Simos trying to put it back into Hollison territory. There's a shot off of O'Leary's stick. Picking it up, Gilbert. Now Sloan. Abbott. Here comes Will Abbott. He's met with a hard hit of the boards. Simos goes for the shot there. Allison switching things up as they bring a new line out. Eight and a half left to go in the first period. And we'll get a whistle for icing. Tough to connect on a pass like that. Uh if he had him, he would have been gone, but uh, we had to get through a lot of traffic. We had to get it hard.
Bob Saponaro up against Sean Walsh. Saperosius picks it up. That is over to Hamlet. Hamlet leaving that one for Walsh. That's pushed back by Brooks for Holliston. Saperosius trying to find Hamlet. Connor Delaney pokes that one up. There's Cobra. Cobra keeps it away from Temple. And here comes Hamlet. Goes up the uh, far side boards. Around the net goes Gong. Sean Walsh is trying to steal that one away as Lindquist got a stick on it. Larry sets it up. Here comes Sean Walsh up the ice, fast and furious. Walsh by a defender in front. Goes for the shot and that one off of Bridges. And that one off of O'Leary. That was a rocket. That one coming in from the far side from Balowitz. And there's another rocket, that one gloved by O'Leary, and that was actually D. Cristofaro. And also starting to pick up the pace a little bit on their end. I think they realize that they're in for a, a fight tonight there. They've got to put in another gear if they're going to keep up. Starting to do that now. I think uh, we're seeing that. You've got to look out for Cooper D. Cristofaro, the center. He has quite a rocket of a shot. That one off of O'Leary from Wilkie. Picked up by Sloan. Here comes the Hillers. Sloan looking for the shot, and he was looking for Simos. Put around the net, Abbott picks it up. Trying to put it back towards the slot. There's a shot, that one off of Bridges, and that one, secondary attempt too high from Sloan. Abbott was trying to backhand that one. Along the near side, Simos. Over to Connor Delaney, who risks it. Sloan. Behind the net, Abbott. Abbott in the trapezoid there. Sloan trying to poke it through. Connor Delaney knocks that one back up towards Simos. These Holliston defensemen being put to work early on. And those will be going on the power play. Yeah, some good contact in the corner from Saperoschitz and D. Cristofaro. The top, whistle. top line of the hill is Thomas is really dominating every time they're out there. They've had just about all the chances. Ooh, we might have a penalty here, yep. Cam D. Cristoforo gonna head to the box. And lucky he didn't get two. I don't think the referee saw the little interaction with Dylan. <laughs> yeah, there was some talking going on. Some word some kind words, I'm sure. A lot of these kids know each other from the Demons program. Well, they like to play each other tough. Connor Delaney puts that one across over towards Lindquist. Lindquist up to Simos. Lindquist. And that's over to Sloan. Here comes Sloan. Sloan leaves that one out in front. No one's there. Nearly taken back by the Hillers. Connor Delaney will put that one out of play. Or no, actually, that stayed in. Amazing enough. Abbott. Back to Connor. Is it out in front? That one off of Bridges. Abbott trying to risk that one. Approaching five minutes left in the first period. A 1-0 Hillers lead. Looking for the shot there was Sloan. Sloan and Abbott up behind the net. There's Abbott over to Connor Delaney. Connor trying to leave that one in the slot. Just need to get a little bit higher. Dylan O'Leary to Lindquist. Here comes Matt Lindquist, leaves it behind for Abbott. That one put in a Hopkinton territory on the back hitter by Wilkie. O'Leary puts it around the boards. Picked up by Sloan. Here's Sloan coming up ice. This game has the makings of a defensive battle, I think, Eric. Yeah, both teams just 
trying to uh, get that four check established or make the other team make that mistake in their own end. Abbott leaves it out in front. Now Andrew Gilbert getting in on the action. Seamus. And Hollison has almost successfully burned off the power play. Five seconds left on it. And he'll do it for the power play. There's a shot and glove saved by Bridges. A couple of good opportunities early on, but then uh, Holliston buckled down and was able to get the puck out most of the uh, tail end of that power play. There's Tommy Hamblett on that last shot. Clock stopped at 3.53. The power play has officially been killed. Sean Walsh on the faceoff for the Hillers. I want to risk it by Weinstock. Actually, that was Gilbert, rather. Picked up by Walsh. Walsh in the corner. Puts it around towards Gilbert. Pokes it out to Hamblet. Here comes Hamblet up the far side. Hamblet turns it around, looking towards the blue line. Thinking about the shot here, and that one is going to be off of Bridges. Lindquist with a secondary uh -huh. attempt, and that's a goal! Matt Lindquist with a little bit of power on it, puts it right. Nice fortuitous rebound there right out to him, and he put everything into that kind of a knuckle puck, but right into the top corner. Yeah, puts it right to the stick side corner. What a goal by Lindquist. Two nothing, Hopkinton. Couldn't ask for a better start than this against this Holliston team. Cobra up the near side. Cobra almost put that one into the top corner. Picked up by Sloan. Here comes Simos, and that one is a little bit too much oomph on it. Simon's trying to leave that out in front for Abbott. And Abbott could not get as much stick on it as he would like to. Tommy Hamill picking up his second assist of the night. Abbott looking for the shot here. Hollison keying in on Will Abbott. Now the key here is Thomas for the Hill is just not to let up. They've you know, they've got them down 2-0. They just have to just keep playing this high-intensity game. We'll have Sean Walsh and De Cristofaro on the faceoff. Up by Connor Delaney. And De Cristofaro nearly lost it there. Here comes Farrell. Farrell, top of the circle, wrist that one. That went off of Delaney. Picked up by Walsh. Over on the near side, Hamlet. Hard push there from Saparoshitz. Here comes Walsh. Up to Hamlet. Hamlet up the near side. Trying to get around the defenseman. Temple jammed up in the corner. Now Walsh picks it up behind the net. Hopkinton in control so far in this game. 120 left to go in the first period. A 2 0 Hopkinton lead. Simos is trying to leave that one for Abbott. Sloan will push it to the far side. Sloan, trying to poke that one through. That was nearly a goal from Simos. Simos. Moves it out in front to the blue line. Gilbert puts it far side. Abbott, trying to maintain control for Hopkinton. A lot of behind the net action, behind the Hollison net action in this first period. And that one's going to be covered up by Bridges as Simos was trying to poke it through. 
It was definitely the, the first period that the Hill has wanted to have, Tom. They came out with uh, fire, and they've done everything right. You know, the only thing that hasn't gone for them was that's that first power play, but it didn't matter. They're up 2-0 with all the hustle and effort that they've shown so far. Yep. I think getting an early lead on a team like Hollison is just so crucial. You don't want to give them any kind of momentum. In the slot, turned around, and Bridges will glove that one up as Hamlet was able to pop it in. Clock stopped at 31 seconds. Sean Walsh up against Jack Larsh. Walsh falls to the ground trying to get control. Over to Gilbert. Gilbert nicely done off the board, uh, even for Temple. Temple is tripped up. Here comes Hollister looking for an opportunity. Larsh trying to work his way up ice, but that's taken back by Temple. Bridges will let that one float by for the whistle. Four seconds left. Well, Hill is just want to be careful here. They want to make sure everybody takes a guy. Four seconds left, you do not want to give up a goal. And Sloan will be looking to try to put this one in the corner. And that will do it for the first period. The Hopkinton Hillers come out strong, and after one, they lead it. Two to nothing, the first goal scored by Sean Walsh, assisted by Tommy Hamblett with 13.06 left. And then about 10 minutes later, 3.16 left, it was Matt Lindquist putting it in with an assist from Tommy Hamblett. It was Matt Lindquist's third goal of this season and 12 point, an impressive first period, Eric. Yeah, and just a real good flow, I think that really favors the Hillers. Not a lot of whistles, and that just lets the Hillers continue to dominate with their speed and forechecking. All right, well, we'll head into the first intermission. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers, Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Every winter in New England, we have an increase in cases of carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a gas that's indetectable to our senses and can make you very sick or even kill you in a short period of time. Fortunately, carbon monoxide poisoning is entirely preventable. Ensure that you have your heating system and other home equipment maintained and inspected annually. Never operate gas-powered equipment indoors, and never barbecue indoors. Make sure to have working carbon monoxide alarms on every floor of your house and within 15 feet of every bedroom door. They should be tested monthly. When snow falls, take care to make sure that chimneys, heating, and dryer outlets are clear of snow so that exhaust can exit. Similarly, shovel out your car's exhaust and never allow children or other people to sit in an idle car while you're shoveling it out. If your carbon monoxide alarm ever goes off, don't ignore it. Exit your house and call the fire department. By following these steps, you can protect your family this winter. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. We are just about ready for the second period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Holliston Panthers. The Hillers leading two to nothing. As we head into the second, the first goal came with 13.06 left, less than two minutes in. It was Sean Walsh with an assist from Tommy Hamlet. And then at 3.16 left to go, Matt Lindquist with a beauty of a shot to the top right corner and the assist by Tommy Hamlet to make it two to nothing, Hopkinton. And Eric, I think this is exactly what the Hillers wanted in that first period. You don't let Holliston get a lot of shots, you keep the pressure on, and you have the lead. Yeah, they're playing uh, just the way they wanted to from the, the drop of the puck there, and it's been key. I mean, Ash, uh, Holliston has not been able to establish anything in Hopkins' end. They've had very little offense. A couple of outside shots is about it. Hopkinton, of course, uh, got to the ice very quickly, ready to rock. They want to keep this momentum rolling. And we are getting down towards the end of the season, so this is crunch time as far as the TVL title is concerned, and it's looking like it's going to be between Hopkinton, Hollison, and Medfield, Eric. Yep, yep. don't rule out Medway. You never know. Medway's always plays tough, too, but uh, those three teams there at the top there, looks like it's uh, theirs to lose, whoever's going to win here. Yeah, Medway's another battle 
tested team that has a tough schedule. I think the refs have just given the ice a little bit extra time. There was a lot of water put down in front of the Holliston goal in between periods. Yeah, I think the uh, Zamboni went a little uh, bit too much on the uh, water. and They might be on the lookout for a squeegee here. Right. And they certainly want to make sure it's not too slippery because then you get players wiping out and a lot more risk of an injury. So they're going to let the ice dry a little bit. And I guess while they do that, we'll take a short break. It's Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. My name is Connor. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love HCAM. Hey, I love HCAM. We love HCAM. And I volunteer for HCAM TV. I watch HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. We love HCAM TV. All right, we are ready. The ice is dry enough, and we're ready to go. Second period, Hiller's up 2-0, DJ Sloan up against Jack Larsh. Halston controls off the opening faceoff. Wilkie puts it near side, and into the Hiller's bench it goes off the stick of Ringy. Fortunately, no one hurt there. Coach well, McPherson making a nice glove save. <laughs> a little face off in the Halston zone. DJ Sloan in there for the Hillers. Back to Gilbert. Puts it up towards Abbott. And Sloan getting in on the action. Sloan leaves that for Simos. Simos is trying to find Abbott in the slot. That one off of Bridges on the Simos attempt. And that one out of play. Yeah, the Hill is tall. I know we harp on this a lot every game, but they just continue to dominate in the face-off circle, and it's just a huge advantage when you can keep that puck in the offensive zone. They're winning probably 98% of these face-offs so far, and they're able to control that puck and keep it in. And I would love to see the stat on how many goals they have scored soon after a faceoff because it's been quite a few. Yeah, it's something the coaches really work on in practice over the years. Well, Larry sets that one up. Picked up by Temple. And pushed there by Saparoshitz in the Hiller's bench loving it. And O'Leary will cover that one up on the wrister by Di Cristofaro. Both teams switching up some of the talent on the ice. We'll have a face off in the Hiller zone. Di Cristofaro against Sloan. Larry covers that one up. Some early stoppages here in this second period. Yeah, this, this is the kind of flow that the Hillers don't like. They like the game to just keep continuously going here. That's the way I like it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Saparosh, it's the Abbott looking for Sloan. And Simos puts that towards the slot. Abbott turns it around. Simos. Thought he had a shot there, but Sam Farrell got involved. Chris Faro on the far side, up against Connor Delaney. Over in the corner, Abbott. And put off the board by Cobra. And here comes Halston looking for a shot here. It's Jay Cobra. Leaves it up top, and that one put out of play. That was deflected off a defender on the De Cristofaro attempt. Good stick by Abbott there. I'm sure that one didn't get on net. 13.04 left in the second period. Another face off in the Hiller zone. Oh, Holliston with the early control in the second period. Over 
along the corner, Gilbert. Goes to the near side. Walsh puts it up. Here comes Hamblet. Hamblet with two assists already this evening. He's behind for Lindquist, who has a goal to his credit. Hamblet around the net. Back towards Walsh. Picked up by Balowitz. And we'll get the whistle there. Face off in the Halston zone. Will Quinlan, Griffin Zach came to the game for the Hopkinton Hillers. Andrew Sapper and also Kyle Rogers back in as well. Trying to get the third line out there, give those first two lines a little bit of rest. Up 2-0, it's a good time to do so. Here comes Holliston trying to put the pressure on as Chris Schneelock coming up the near side. Schneelock also a member of the Holliston Panthers football team. The backhander, that one off of O'Leary with Jack Larsh. Jammed up along the corner. Lindquist with control. Puts it up near side. Here comes Griffin Zach. Zach leaves it in the slot and just in front of Quinlan. Behind the net, Cobra. Right idea, just a little bit too much on that one. Panthers on the attack, Cobra. With possession, shot, and O'Leary punches that one away. Cobra with a hard hit over in the corner with Quinlan. Hillers respond on the near side. Zach trying to leave that one behind as Quinlan pokes it out. Olsen has it, here comes Sapinaro. It's taken back by Saparoshitz. Up the near side, picked up by Wilkie. Both teams picking up the body check in this period. Approaching 11 minutes left in the second period. Kind of back and forth momentum in this period so far. Simos trying to make it happen. Here comes Simos, the wrister, and that one off of Bridges. Still alive as Simos puts it over to Abbott. They are constantly doubling up on Abbott all game long. Abbott trying to poke that one through. Near side, put back by Gilbert. Abbott turns it around towards Lindquist. Lindquist, the backhander, around the end boards. Picked up by Abbott, leaves it out in front. Simos with the shot. And oh, nice save. <laughs> what a save that was. I don't know how he saved that I one. I think the puck was just a little bit on edge, so Simos couldn't quite get it flat to try to get it upstairs on him. Well, that one was a close call if I've ever seen one. This line's had some real good chances all night long. Walsh leaves it behind for Temple. Now to Lindquist. Leaves it out in front. And another deflection by Bridges. A lot of rebounds, too. Shot there, Bridges being put to work. And he'll cover that one up as Temple is trying to poke it through. And the Hill is a smart strategy. They're just getting that puck to the net. And they always have somebody out front for that rebound. Well, the Hiller is starting to take over control in this period. Putting the pressure on big time. At the far side, Farrell. Gilbert puts that back. And there's Hambly getting in on the action. Cobra. Over to the near side. Looks like Halston just playing keep away right now rather than trying to work into the Hiller zone. And they get the forwards way too far up. They're almost up to the Hiller's blue line with a puck still on their end. Hambly puts that up the far side. Chased down by Temple. And Temple going to be tripped up there with Fitzgerald. Down the end boards. Saparoshitz goes that one and goes for the shot. Just wide to the left. Up the far side, Farrell. Put back up by Connor Delaney. Nine minutes left in the second period now. Walsh lost that one briefly. Here comes Holliston. 
It's Di Cristofaro, dangerous shooter. Turns it around, wide to the right. Franco. And in the corner, that's Wilkie. Di Cristofaro. Zaporoshitz trying to steal, or Abbott rather, trying to steal that one away. Back to the blue line. Here comes Abbott, opportunity here. And nearly put in on the rebound by Simos. Another big rebound out front. And Sloan lifts that one up too high. Lindquist leaves it out in front. And it's poked out by the right defenseman, Tim Ringy. Chased down in the corner, Simos. Back to the neutral zone it goes as it's eight minutes and counting left in the second period. Halston looking for a shot here. They have not had a whole lot of shots this game. Abbott on a break into the right circle, wrist it, and that one is off the pad of Bridges. Hard hit there by Abbott. And as Gilbert gets a piece of it, back to the corner. Out in front, trying for the backhander. Sloan was trying to poke it through. And we got all kinds of traffic in front of the net. A little quick whistle there, referee lost sight. The puck was still loose. Yeah, he thought it was covered up. But the Hillers just keep that pressure on there That puck is just bouncing all over the place when they get that on net. So They have a uh, drill in practice they call GSB where they fight for the puck in, in front of that net. And this is where that uh, shows fruit. The Hillers are really good in front of the net. They're just prepared for every situation. Back to the neutral zone. Chased down by Connor Delaney. Delaney to the near side of Rogers. Kept away from Bridges. Zach on the chase down. He was just not letting Hollison get out of their end. Cleans on. They're on him as soon as they get that puck. Yep. Looking for a shot here, and O'Leary covers that one up on the Di Cristofaro attempt. I think just about all of Hollison's shots this period have been right straight in the stomach of Dillon. He's going to stop that every single time. I think that was, what, their second shot of the period? It has not been a lot. 7.02 left to go. Face off in the Hillers' defensive zone. Taparoshitz puts it around the net. Here comes Hamblet. And leaves that out for Walsh. Walsh into the slot. Temple. That one just kept away by the defenseman. Temple turns it around. Back towards Saperoshitz. Temple up behind the net. Trying to leave it out in front. Saperoshitz backhands it. Back towards Temple. Coming up ice is... Jackson gone as he'll put it up towards the net. Along the far side, Wilkie. Over to Balowitz, stolen away. There's Walsh, wrists that one a little bit too high. And Lindquist on the rebound. That one deflected by a defender. Gilbert, over to Sloan. Sloan takes it up and around. Simos getting in on the action. Simos and Franco going at it. Looks like Sloan's going to go for either interference or hit from behind. Well, that was a big opportunity for Hollison. 5.48 left in the second period. And DJ Sloan will head to the box. Well, we'll see how the Hillers penalty kill is for the first time today. Back to the blue line, Wilkie. Oh, put back in Allison territory along the far side by Lindquist. Here comes Wilkie. If Allison needed an opportunity, they got one. See if they can take advantage of it. 
Looking for the shot stolen away, and we'll get a whistle. Looks like it's going to be a five on three. Another hill of penalty here. Oh, oh boy. Call a slash on that one. A little questionable on that one. I don't know about that call. Who are they getting for this? Like Steve Simos. Simos. I don't know if I agree with that one, Eric. No, that's something that happens all throughout the game. It wasn't, uh, you know, with any, yeah, it wasn't with any malice intent. Just trying to get a stick on stick and just caught a little bit of it on the side there. Nothing too hard. And the Hillers got to be real tough here. Matt Lindquist, Will Abbott, Connor Delaney out there for the Hillers. Five on three. Austin can't score here. I don't know. A little debate going on here. The official talking with Will Abbott. Not quite sure about what. Well, there's 124 left on the first power play. Now two minutes on the second one. Killers have their work cut out for them here. They have their three best puck handlers out on the ice. Here comes Wilkie over the far side to Cristofaro. Back to Wilkie. Wilkie up the far side. There's Cover looking for the shot. And that one out in front. Nets the backhander. Off. Nets off. And the official will put a stop to it with the net off. Took a minute. <laughs> Four fifty left to go in the second period. The Hillers in a five on three situation for another minute and three seconds. Then it'll be five on four. What a play by Will Abbott there. Just a super play. Certainly was. I think Hollison should have some more urgency with this five on three situation. Moving a little bit slowly up the ice. Yeah, trying to get a little too cute. Here comes Di Cristofaro. The wrister. That one I might have just nicked a piece of O'Leary. Out in front. Miller's out in front of the net. Giving O'Leary some extra support. And nice save there by O'Leary. And here comes Lindquist with the backhander. Nice job by Lindquist getting that one out of the danger zone. Lindquist comes out into the game. Gilbert, 19 seconds left on the first power play, 43 seconds on the second. Wilkie coming up the far side for Holliston. Top of the circle, shot. And that one off the leg pad of O'Leary. Another shot here from the high slot. And that one out in front. And a nice job by Gilbert getting a stick on it to get it out of the danger zone. Hill has got one man back. Gilbert turns it around. Picked up by Cobra. Cobra to the left circle, the wrister. And the first power play has ended, the second one almost over. And Hollison not happy that they could not get a goal in a five on three situation. No, they had a couple good looks there and uh, O'Leary was right on top of that. You could see the puck pretty much on all of With a two man advantage, they should have plenty of bodies in front to screen him. It is five on four for another six seconds. It's again, the face off's key for the Hill is just dominating. And there's the power play kill. We're back at even strength. Out in front, Temple. Leaves it behind, and that was nearly a goal. Still out in front. And trying to poke it through is Sean Walsh looking for his second goal of the night. Another close call there. De Cristofaro coming up, and that one wide to the right. Picked up on the near side. Balowitz beats up with Walsh. Temple up the near side. And pass over to Hamblet. Hamblet leaves it for Temple. Out in front, and Walsh was trying for the backhander. 2.45 left to go in the second period. A 2-0 lead for the Hillers. Both goals came in the first period. But a great defensive period for Hopkinton. And we'll get a whistle here as Hamblet gets involved with a little pushing and shoving think, with Balowitz. I think the Hillers are going to go on the power play here. They're going to call that one. Well, let's see how Hopkinton deals with the power play. De Cristofaro heads of the box. Sean Walsh, a couple of golden chances in front there. Just couldn't get the puck right where he wanted. I think the first one, he was surprised to be that wide open. Puck was just a little bit out of reach, couldn't get everything on it. DJ Sloan into the face-off circle for Hopkinton, Jack Larsh for Holliston. Over to Connor Delaney, turns it around. Pass across Lindquist. 
Lindquist risked that one, and that was nearly put in by Sloan. Sloan leaves it for Simos. Miller's on the power play for another minute, 47 seconds, 2.17 left in the period. Connor Delaney, pass to the near side of Lindquist. Lindquist puts it towards Simos. Simos into the corner with Kober. Turns around, here's Abbott. Back to the blue line, Connor Delaney with the wrister, and that one covered up by Bridges. And a hard push out in front, Kober with the push on Simos. I don't know, is that a penalty, Eric? Uh, I think they the battle in there just protecting his goalie on that one. <laughs> Nothing too egregious. Well, Austin, lucky they're getting out of that one. Uh, a penalty. A minute 25 left on the power play. To the Hopkinton defensive zone. Larry calling it out. We'll set it up. Connor Delaney take it up. Pass the near side to Lindquist. Now across to Sloan. Pokes it through to Abbott. Abbott to Delaney to Lindquist. Lindquist can get the shot off there. There's Sloan trying to sneak it by. Abbott in the neutral zone. Abbott into the left circle, takes it around. Leaves it behind for Sloan. Sloan trying to put that one back towards Abbott. Over to Connor Delaney. Now Lindquist turns it around back to Abbott in the corner. Abbott over to the trapezoid of Sloan. Sloan and Wilkie doing battle in the corner. Lindquist. And that shot nearly put in on the rebound. Another big save by Bridges. Abbott with the wrister. And that one off the glove of Bridges. I think that might have nicked his glove a little bit. Real good puck movement by the hell is here. Sloan looking for the shot. Bridges really being put to work in these last couple of minutes. The power play has ended for Hollison. Or for Hopkinton, I should say. You're back at even strength. Abbott. And Bridges covers that one up. Hollison lucky to survive that one. They get several good looks on that power play. Good puck movement. Getting the puck to the open guy. Some nice saves. Hollison has to give their goalie a lot of credit in this one. Yeah, he's, he's cut down on the rebounds this period. The first period he's given up a lot of big rebounds, but he's uh, been able to keep most of them in check this 20, period. 21 seconds left in the second period. Larsh coming up ice along the far side. Meets up with Saperoshitz. Picked up by Walsh. Backhands it around the net. Over to Gilbert. And that'll do it for the second period. After two periods of play, it is Hopkinton 2. Holliston nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAN. Do you find yourself feeling down in winter? Or if you experience depression through the year, does it get worse in the colder and darker months? I'm here to tell you about winter depression and what you can do that may be helpful. Seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, is a type of depression that tends to occur in the fall. You may lose your energy and motivation. You may feel sluggish, agitated, distracted, hopeless, and you may have problems with sleeping, your appetite, or suicidal thoughts. SAD can lead to social withdrawal, problems with school or work, and substance abuse. Here's the good news. You can talk with your primary care physician, your psychiatrist, or mental health professional. There are effective treatments such as counseling, light box therapy, or medication. Sometimes we feel bad in the fall and winter anyway, especially during the holidays. But if a mood slump continues for days or weeks, don't wait. Talk with your doctor or counselor for more information and support. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center as we get you ready for the third period. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call. Tom Dings, our cameraman for this evening. And you are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Well, the Hillers put up two goals in the first period. And then the second period was scoreless, a defensive battle. So the score remains two to nothing. Eric, what were your thoughts on that second period? Obviously no goals for the Hillers, but a couple very close calls. Yeah, Hollison definitely picked up their game. They came out with a little more intensity. 
All right, had a little bit more uh, time there, but a big kill for the Hill. That five on three was huge. That's probably the biggest thing so far in the game, able to kill that off. And the old adage in hockey is a 2-0 lead is the hardest one to protect, so the Hills just have to keep the throttle down here in the third. And I think uh, they owe their goalie after this game, no matter how it comes out, uh, a dinner or something, because he's really working hard to keep Hollison in this game. As there was a few very nice saves by the Hollison goalie in that second period. As we are underway in the third, the Hillers less than 15 minutes away from taking over the lead in the TVL. Yeah, that one out in front, Abbott trying to poke it through. Of course, Medfield is playing tonight as well, so as far as the leader of the TVL is concerned, it will depend on what happens in that Medfield game. That is Simos in the corner, puts it up to Sloan. Sloan was trying to leave it out for Abbott. Lindquist puts that around the net. Simos over in the corner, meets up with Wilkie. And that one is popped in the air by Sloan. Over in the corner is Lindquist. We'll get a whistle there. Just the kind of start they needed too, coming out in third, keeping the puck down on Hollison's end. Don't give them any chances. Shooting wise, it's Hopkinton leading Holliston 35 to 15 after the first two periods. So pretty dominant performance once again by the Hillers. If they keep that pace up, they might get towards that season high of 59. I did the stats for a lot of years, and the Hillers were on the other end of that for a long time. But in the last several years, they've really dominated in the shots on. And don't forget to follow Hillers Hockey on Twitter for all the latest Hopkinton Hillers Hockey updates as well. Of course, that's uh, ran by you, Eric. You, you do a great job with that. Uh, Twitter account is Sean Walsh. Yeah, and a big, that one. big thank you to uh, Freya Proudman too. She's the team manager here. She's been doing uh, a lot of the away games to keep everybody up to date. So big thank you to Freya Proudman for the great stats she sends us all season long as well. Well, a face off in the neutral zone. Sean Walsh in on the action for the Hillers. Here comes Cober. At the far side. A shot deflected. Picked up in the corner by Gone. And now on the far side, Temple. And that is up to Hamblet. And Hamblet will just put that into Holliston territory. Poked around the net by Temple. Holliston might have a break here as De Cristofaro coming up. And that is right into the glove of O'Leary. Hill is doing a real good job just amassing in front of uh, Dylan O'Leary there. Just if all going to have those outside shots, they're not going to get much out of those. So the, that's going to be the strategy. You just don't let them get in close and deep. Keep them to the outside. Keep those shots from far out. That seemed like kind of a lazy shot, too, by De Chris Faro. Didn't really put a whole lot of zip on it. Out in front, and O'Leary puts that one off his leg pad. That was nearly a goal from James Franco. Over in the corner, Sloan. Here comes Sloan, trying to come away with it. Abbott, Abbott trying to sneak it around Wilkie. Wilkie, puts it into the neutral zone, and it's taken back by Lindquist. Lindquist with an opportunity here, into the circle. Leaves it out in front, and Abbott was looking for the shot there, but he was boxed out by Ringy. Lindquist, puts it around the boards. Picked up by Wilkie. Lindquist meets up with Larsh. We get a whistle. Now Hill is just want to be careful. Hill here with the Holliston being down 2-0. They're probably going to look to try to spring somebody. Have one of their forwards stay up high on the off wing looking for that break. Have another face off in the neutral zone. Around the net it goes. Picked up by Sapinaro. Jammed up in the corner. Looking Zach and Quinlan in on the action. Paulson comes away with it as it comes Cobra up the far side. Cobra, a little circle, and uh, Saparosha lost his stick. 
And he's still up in the corner trying to play the puck. Yeah. I think Cobra got away with one there. That was a little bit high to the head. That stick. Yeah, I think so. Fitzgerald picks it up on the far side. Zaporosh, it's a backhander. Here comes Holliston. That one will be deflected off of O'Leary. Balowitz on the shot. And we get a whistle as Griffin Zach comes up the near side. I think he's going to call a hand pass. Well, Zach, I think, knows he's the guilty party. He's heading to the box. No penalty just coming out of the game. We'll have a face off in Hopkinson territory. Lindquist over on the far side corner. Temple trying to turn it around. Over to the near side. Quickly up the ice is Walsh. Walsh looking for the shot there, trying to sneak it in on the corner. 10.48 and counting left in the third period as, as Temple trying to sneak it around. Temple over on the far side, up against Ringy, and now a slap shot put out of play as that was off of the stick of Hamlet. Good look by Temple there. He saw he had, uh, had his man behind him, made a nice little back pass to him, gave him a shot, but uh, Hollison was able to get a stick on that, deflect it out. But the Hill is still able to keep the puck down. Hollison's in for most of this period, almost halfway through. Yeah, they're just kind of maintaining the momentum at this point. A terrific play in net by both goaltenders in this game. It's been all about who could put more pressure on the other. And Holliston, I believe, beat the Hillers the last time these two teams met up. And that was, of course, in Holliston. Coming up the near side is Wilkie. Abbott able to grab control of it. Going to the circle, a shot. That one wide to the right by Larsh. Fillers get it back. Top of the right circle, Cobra. Into the high slot. Franco puts it wide to the right. Halston looking for another shot here, but Saparoshitz had something to say about that. Abbott puts it around. And we'll get a whistle as that one's popped up. And Hill's got to watch out here. Looks like Cobras, even though he's a defenseman, he's one of their talented offensive players, and he's trying to uh, take the puck in, get it in deep there. So we've got to watch for him trying to break. Hillers and Halston uh, met up once this season already, back on January 3rd. Halston got the 3-1 win over Hopkinton. Certainly a uh, Different sequence of events so far in this game. Yep, I think that one was a tight one too. I believe they had an open net goal at the end for the two goal difference. And Griffith Zach tripped up trying to get to that one. As good as Halston is, it does certainly seem like they've cooled off maybe a little bit since the beginning of the season. Zach over on the far side, leaves it for Quinlan. And now Halston putting the pressure on, coming down is Sapinaro. And it's taken back by Lindquist. Lindquist quickly up the ice. Trying to sneak between two defenders. Around the net, picked up by Rogers. Rogers was trying to pop it out into the slot. Zach around the net. Zach was trying to go back to the blue line of Gilbert, and now Hollison nice almost play had by a break. Lindquist. Yeah, very good play by Lindquist. Got out in front of Jackson, gone to prevent any sort of Halston breakout. Helping his D partner out there. Larsh on the near side, contested by Connor Delaney. Delaney with a push there to get Larsh out of the way. Tommy Hamlet met with a hit. And now Temple. Connor Delaney puts it up the far side. And that'll. Go up the boards from Walsh. Over in the corner, Hamlet leaves it out in front. And they were hoping Walsh would be able to poke that one through.
Picked up by Connor Delaney. Up towards Hunter Temple. And Rogers with the backhanded pass. Hamblett trying to get a stick on it. Hamblett turns it around. Saparoshitz. Nice job getting Larsh out of the way. Connor Delaney in the corner. Up the near side boards. Here comes De Cristofaro. Abbott steals it away. 7.15 and counting left in this third period. Alston running out of time, trailing two to nothing. Rogers plays it off the side, of, or Walsh plays it off the side of the net. Over towards Simos, and we get the whistle there. Real great play there by Saparoshas. The Hillers were on a change. Saparoshas was back, and Hollison had a chance for two on one. And Saparoshas saw that the puck was going to go wide, so he left that man to go pick it, and he was able to pick that pass off to prevent the two on one there. Clock stopped at exactly seven minutes left. DJ Sloan up against Cooper D. Cristofaro on the faceoff. And that was Wilkie in the high slot looking for the shot. Miller's defenseman having a great game. Not letting Holliston really get too many open looks at all. Over to Simos. Simos and Ringy along the far side. Now Abbott putting the pressure on there. And the slot Sloan trying to turn that around in front of the net. Over on the near side corner now. Back across. And Lindquist gets that one away. And Jackson gone. Pass to the far side to Rangi. Up the far side is Abbott. Abbott with the wrister. That one turned away from the defenseman, Wilkie. Out in front, in the corner of the net, was Rogers trying to jam it in. Rogers with possession behind the net. Up against De Cristofaro. He's able to get it to Saparoshitz. Slapper there, wide to the left. Put towards the end board by Sloan. Another trapezoid Abbott. Pokes it out to the near side corner, turns it around. And it's really just a battle behind the net for the last minute or so. And Hill is almost able to get a full change there while keeping the puck in Hollis' net, so they had no choice but to ice that one. And Eric, despite it really being only a 2-0 game, this has just been an outstanding dominant performance by the Hillers tonight. Yeah, the Hillers just, they really come out and they've owned this period. They're playing really strong in the neutral zone, just not letting Hollison get anything going at all. And Hollison can't even get any kind of break. They can barely get a shot off. John Walsh up against Jack Larsh. Backhander by Gilbert. Out in the slot, and he was looking for Walsh there. Temple trying to get back to the puck. Here comes Hallison. Maybe we'll get a shot here. Larsh. And we'll get a whistle. Face off in the neutral zone. Five seventeen left to go. Hallison. Has to get one off the ice quickly. Lindquist. Back in a Halston territory towards Fitzgerald. Hamble or Hamblet sets up Temple. Back to Lindquist, now Temple. Leaves that one out for Gilbert. Now on the near side, Lindquist. And it's back up towards Temple. Hamblet doing battle behind the net. He meets up with Fitzgerald. Lindquist over on the near side corner along with a couple other Hillers and we'll have yeah. a whistle. Yeah, I think the Hillers are going to be short-handed here. A little check from behind, cross-check. He'll advise at this time of the game when you got a 2-0 lead. Certainly is. Still, uh, Paulson can take advantage of this power play. We still have a little bit of time left. 4.35 left to go in regulation. On Walsh coming out of the game, heading to the penalty box. And Hollison will have their third power play opportunity. 
tonight. So far they are 0 for 2. Jack Larsh up against DJ Sloan. Looking for the shot there was Wilkie. Simos puts it around the end board. Back to the neutral zone. Abbott on a break. Abbott has other plans here as he takes it to the right circle. The wrist turn has a goal. How about that? Olsen has the power play, but the Hillers get the goal. Will Abbott. Whenever you think there's a game that Will Abbott might not have a point, <laughs> he usually changes that pretty quickly. He's always around the puck, and just a great stop and go move there. He had the defenseman frozen. He didn't know which way he was going to go, inside or out, and then just drove around him. Snuck that through the pads. Another example of great stick work by Will Abbott, and he has his 33rd point of the season. Keeping that point streak alive. Still 143 left on the power play, but a whole lot more of a comfortable situation for the Hillers. And here comes Sloan. Sloan tripped up by the goalie, Bridges. Thought the Hillers were going to have another goal here on the Holliston power play. we get a whistle as Cobra comes towards the near side. Uh, Tampa's just having all kinds of trouble generating offense there. Having trouble, they need to get that puck in deep if they're going to have any chance. They're uh, making too many moves at the blue line, and that's about their third offside in this period. It's Will Abbott's 21st goal of the season. 21 goals, 12 assists. To his credit, team leader as far as points. Cobra on the near side. Over up the far side, matched up with Sloan. And a shot from the slot off of O'Leary. He might have an injury over on the near side corner. You know, he's able to get up. It looked like Larsh kind of landed awkward, or that was Wilkie rather, kind of landed awkwardly, but it's good to see him back up. Gets that to the far side. Three and a half minutes left to go in the third period. 55 seconds left on the power play. Back to the neutral zone. Trying to turn it around is Franco. Meets up with Temple along the near side boards. Abbott comes away with it. Abbott with another break here. Into the slot he goes. The wrister, that one just wide to the left. Turns it around again. That one off of Bridges. I don't know how he got that second shot off. Talk about cat-like reflexes. Temple met with a shot along the far side. Less than three minutes left to go now. And barring some miracle, the Hillers are going to grab their 12th win of the season. And that's up out in front of Hamlet. Hollison's going to be down a man here. A slash on Lindquist. Took his glove right off. Well, only one second left on the Holliston power play. Now Hopkinson will have one. Clock is stopped at 2.36. It will be five on four in favor of the Hillers. And Hopkinton going to switch things up. Bring uh, Andrew Gilbert, Kyle Rogers, and Ron Sheamus into the game. Here we go, Hillers on the power play here. Put to the near side of Walsh. Walsh takes it up. Breaks on through a couple of Panthers. In the left circle, leaves it in the slot, and it's turned away by a defender. Still out in front of the net, however. Put back towards the blue line. Pass by Sheamus to the near side. Gilbert was hoping to get more on that shot attempt. Sheamus puts that wide to the right. Out in front, trying to jam it in is Walsh. That one off of Gilbert. Back to Hopkinton defensive territory. 145 left to go in the game, 110 left on the power play. Up the far side, picked up by Hamblet. Hamblet into the circle. 
Sneaks around the net. Puts that one around towards Walsh. Leary will set it up. Off the far side towards Rogers. The near side of Sheamus. It's back to Walsh. Coaching a minute left in the third period as Walsh takes it up. 27 seconds left and counting on the power play. That is turned around. Up the far side and Killers will kind of hang back at this point. Another penalty on Hollis, and they're showing the frustration here. And the Hillers will uh, finish the game on the power play. Grabbing Rogers around the head. Well, it's always tough when you have so much success. At the beginning of the season, then you lose a couple. Hopkinton going to improve to 12 wins, two losses, and a tie. Holliston will fall to 11, 4, and 1. 45 seconds left to go, and it's going to be 5 on 3 for 10 seconds, and then 5 on 4 for the remainder of the game. Connor Delaney at the blue line. Over to Lindquist, looking for his second goal. Risk that one, and that one deflected by Bridges. Back to the Hopkinton defensive zone it goes. O'Leary hangs back with it and puts it around the end boards. Linquist along the far side. Holliston trying like crazy to keep this puck in Hopkinton defensive zone. Sloan into the left circle. Puts it up towards Lindquist. Connor Delaney at the top of the circle. That one off the leg pad of Bridges. Abbott up the near side boards. Across the Lindquist he goes. Two seconds left, one, and that will do it. The Hopkinton Hillers come away with a huge three to nothing win over the Holliston Panthers. And what a performance by the Hillers tonight. Eric, just another example of Hopkinton Hillers domination. Yeah, absolutely, domination is the right word there. You know, come back against a team that uh, beat you early on they said they, uh, they may have surprised them in the first game, but they were ready for them this game, and they just uh, took it to them from the drop of the first puck tonight. It was two goals in the first period. The first one scored with 13.06 left by Sean Walsh, assisted by Tommy Hamblett, and then with 3.16 left, it was Matt Lindquist wristing one in and an assist by Tommy Hamblett. And the next goal would not be until the third period with 4.18 left. Will Abbott would have that one on a breakaway and the Hopkinton Hillers knock off the Holliston Panthers three to nothing. Hopkinton now 12-2 and one on the season. Holliston now 11-4 and one. For our cameraman, Tom Dings, my broadcast partner, Eric Carty, I'm Tom Nappy. This has been Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Thanks for watching everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll talk to you again soon.